Now we're going to go over the umaplata or the triangle choke. Right from the triangle. We're here. Get the wrist in. Up top. Now, I'm going to finish up the triangle. Joey grabs around my leg this way. Now, even if I lock my legs here, it's hard for me to close this carotid artery. Okay? So what I'm going to do is, we're in this position. I'm just going to switch my grip here. Put my forearm right in front of his neck. I'm going to grab my ankle, I'm going to put it right in front of his face here. Guys, I want to reinforce this in case Joey tries to put the weight on me. I don't, if I don't have my hand on my ankle, my knee could pop. If he brings his head towards mine to stack me, you know, it's, it's not going to make me submit, but it'll pop my knee here. So what I want to do is I just want to reinforce it by holding onto my ankle. Now, no, much, no matter how much weight Joey puts on me, yeah, it's not going to bend my leg here. I'm good. Now, I want to bring my upper body towards his lower body. So I use my free leg to kick out, and I just bring my upper body right towards his butt this way. Now, when I go to sit up, I extend my legs. I'm going to sit up, I'm going to hold right around his waist. It's very important here, guys. My feet, I don't want them running into the floor, so I'm going to point them away from his body. First things first, when I, I grab him around the waist, I scoop my butt back, get my feet, point them away here. Now. I want to bring my knee right here to my foot. I'm going to push off the floor with my foot that's farthest away from his body. So I push off, I hold around his waist, I push off up here. This gives me a lot of control. If I'm up too high, if you feel like you're going to go either too hard or not hard enough here, it's hard to get your butt off the floor. When your butt is back towards his knee, now my feet are away. Knee to my heel. I push off the floor, and I have total control. I just push off my back leg here. It's very important, look at the position I'm in here, that I have him around the waist. You can do everything right, but if you don't have him around that waist, he's just going to tumble salt right out. Let's do it again. Triangle. I'm looking to finish it up. He grabs around my leg. So we switch grips from here to here. I'm going to put this right in front of his face. Now again guys, I just want to kick this out, swing my head here, right to his lower body. Guys, he's gonna, if he tries to sit straight up as I try to sit up, it's a circus. So what I want to do is, go to sit up Joey, I just extend my legs here to bring, bring him back down. Scoot your butt away, hug around the waist, again, the feet away from his body. Okay, so it's going here. Look how I bring my knee down. I push off my back foot and I take total control. I can go as fast or as slow as I want up. You want to put your knee on the floor right next to his ear. Breaks right in his shoulder. Here, he grabs around the leg. Put it right in front. Okay? Joey tries to put the weight on me. Look, nice and secure. Kick this leg out, upper body towards his lower body. Here. If you triangle here, it's going to make it difficult when he goes to sit up to bring him back down. So, what you want to do is you want to straighten your legs. You sit up, hug around the waist. If you feel you're up too high, you could use your hand on the floor, scoot your butt back. Here. Feet away from the body, here, okay? Knee, right to my foot here, okay? Right towards my heel. Push off the floor with your back leg, up like you want to say something to him in his ear, here. Okay, your knee right towards his ear. Total control. 